you know, all the noise right now coming out of Greece and Europe, uh, it's causing a lot of volatility in many of the asset classes that we all pay attention to. The markets, in stocks, in bonds, Canadian dollar, in, in oil. You know, really for, for most of the markets right now, what we have to recognize, this is just showing that there's still huge structural issues globally that we need to deal with. You know, economies are still trying to, you know, fight their way out of this, the recessions of the past, and really the debt levels that they are sort of under today. And for most long-term investors, this is really just noise. It's just a part of the markets. It really should have very little impact onto your long-term plans. You know, for, for really for long-term investors, what you need to be focused on is the core, which is one, make sure you're buying really good assets. And, and that, yes, that includes stocks that are outside of Canada and including stocks that are in Europe and, and other markets. So don't be afraid to buy international stocks because of this noise, because Canada is no different, nowhere, nowhere is really different. Two is to make sure you're very well diversified. In a time like this where things are expensive, where there's lots of noise, you will be hugely rewarded by being highly diversified. Now the key thing coming out of this though, there's a key lesson that all of us should be learning from this, this Greece situation. And that is, a lot of the large developed countries in the world, US, Europe, and even here in Canada, are highly indebted. They have a very large debt load relative to their GDP. So, you know, in Greece specifically, they're talking about 180% of G debt to GDP ratio. That's a big number. But the key thing to learn is for Canadians, we also have a big debt number. We have a significant uh, sort of debt to income ratio that's been growing over the last number of years as interest rates have stayed low. And so for many of us, we're sitting in a situation that's very similar to Greece, where we really don't have an ability to control a way to you know, print currency like the US can do or to increase inflation to uh, inflate our way out of this debt situation. So for us, all we have to actually learn from the Greece situation, which is that we don't want to be in a situation where we're negotiating with creditors, that we still have these huge debt levels as interest rates rise in the future, and that we ultimately don't put ourselves in a position that we don't have the ability to balance our income and our debts ourselves. So what are the key things you should be doing? One, you should be paying down debt. Low interest rates, you should be able to save more, pay down your debts today wherever you can because you can afford to. Two, is create your own little austerity program. You need to save, you need to cut back where you can, and you, everyone knows they can in certain places, but you need to do it now while the opportunity is there in front of you. Don't put yourself in that situation where you can't balance your income and your debts in the future and you're negotiating with your creditors like Reese is.